The solar industry has come a long way in the last decade. Can you give us a, just a very brief state of the industry overview? Sure. So about 10 years ago, cost of solar was extremely high. Um, of course, as you know, and everybody else does in the industry, prices have dramatically come down. Um, now with those decreases in costs, uh, especially for the solar panel, uh, cost of solar in many ways has become more competitive. Um, and it's probably one of the most competitive forms of energy today. And what are the biggest opportunities right now in the solar space? And how is Jinko positioned to take advantage of those opportunities? Um, currently, our you know product line is 20% more powerful than its predecessor. The latest and greatest in durability and compatibility with other system, you know, BOS components like racking manufacturers and inverters. Let's talk about the challenges that the industry faces and how Jinko is addressing those challenges. Um, thinner glass and frames can be used or are used by other manufacturers. And those reductions may be contributing factors to these modules becoming damaged in the field. Uh, Jinko's modules um, are of course higher power um, with thicker front glass and thicker frames. And, and that thicker front glass and frame will allow us to withstand uh, larger hailstones up to 45 millimeters in diameter and velocities uh, upwards of 29 meters per second. Uh, also, um, solar panels have become a, you know, a, a bigger part of the energy mix. And uh, the, uh, the other technology that's on everybody's mind right now is storage. And so they're looking at uh, backup avenues of you know how they can go and, and so that's why Jinko is is looking at introducing a storage solution so that you know the the homeowner or the the owners can acquire both of these advantages at the same time from you know one supplier. Can you tell us a little bit more about that innovation in that sector and then anything you can say about Jinko's uh, storage solution that you're developing? So, so yeah, um, we, we're looking at doing two different technologies or two different solutions right now. Um, one is called the RS and the other one is called the CS. Uh, RS for residential storage and CS for, you know, commercial storage. Uh, there's going to be, of course, you know, design for those two different applications, different sizes, different kilowatt hours, same technology, same chemistry. Um, but they're going to be, of course, sized differently, um, as well as, you know, the, the new the new module that can be paired perfectly with that. Um, and that module is what we're calling the, the Eagle TRG4. Um, there's two different versions of that module. There is a residential one that's 66 cells. And of course, that's black cell, uh, black frame, black back sheet. And then the other one for the commercial and utilities would be a, a, a larger 78 cell version. That TR Eagle G4 module technology uh, still uses the half cell technology that we've used in previous generations, um, but with a couple of tweaks. Um, and then one of the other changes to this new G4 module is that uh, the bus bars have increased in quantity from five to eight. And by having more bus bars, that's going to reduce the electrical resistance within the cells themselves and also reduces the likelihood of any micro cracks to, to develop over time. Um, with respect to those bus bars, the geometry of it, of them have, have also changed. Um, typically in the past, they're, you know, more rectangular in shape, but uh, we're switching that geometry over to a more circular shape. And so with those circular uh, ribbons, it allows for more light to be absorbed into the cells themselves. Um, and less light to be reflected and lost. Space, whether it's residential or utility, is always at a premium. Um, and, and so by having a more power dense module, um, more power per square foot, you're gonna reduce your overhead um, labor costs, bomb components. Um, it's just gonna be a much more cost effective solution in a smaller package. 